This is the new Simon Line Pixel. So today we have the new Simon Line putters. These are the new pixels. So these come in the new electron plastic and you have a choice of firm, medium, and then soft. I'm not 100% sure if the medium or the firm was the normal electron per se, uh, but it's awesome that you get a choice of this new putter in these three different, very similar, but a bit different plastics here. Um, so this is going to be the stock stamp. You can also get this cool special edition stamp that I'll put up in the corner here for you to see. So today, uh, we're not really gonna be looking at this for a putting putter, but we're gonna take a look at the feel and then also take a look at how these fly as well. I also do have a P2 here. This is not beat up. This is pretty much a brand new P2 that we're gonna have in comparison here. Now, before I got this new Pixel in my hands, I was really hoping that uh, it didn't feel as deep as let's say a Sky God 4. Um, that is a pretty deep putter um, for throwing wise that I just really didn't care for. I have big hands, but it just didn't really feel comfortable in my hand. And to let you know, right when I got this new Pixel in my hand, I absolutely loved it. Um, if you do, Want to see a quick comparison um, in terms of the profiles here. Um, if you put this on a table right side up or upside down, in terms of the depth of the discs, they pretty much are the same. Um, but if you actually put up the parting line to parting line, which is right there, they are quite a bit different. So we're going to do a couple flights uh, out in this open field here today uh, just to see how these fly. Um, just for reference, the putters that I currently use to putt with are uh, the Discmania Logics in an Exo Hard and an Exo Soft, depending on the weather and the temperatures. And then my dead straight throwing putter is a Pure. Um, I'm actually looking for a spot in my bag for a pretty straight putter uh, for throwing that is going to just be a laser and have a slight finish to it without really either dumping over or turning much at all. Um, so we'll see if these pixels fly up to that today and see if it's something that I will eventually end up bagging. So before we throw these, I just wanna to quickly touch on the feel here. This is gonna be the firm. It's gonna obviously be your hardest and most rigid plastic. Still has really nice grip with that electron plastic. Then here we have the medium. It's gonna be a nice in-between where it is a bit pliable. Uh, plastic still really good grip. And then we have the soft, which I am the most excited about here. Um, you can see how pliable that the disc is. You're not gonna like fold it in and pancake it. You could if you wanted to, but it's very, very pliable. But what's awesome is the overmold here is still pretty firm to where it still has a rigidity to this soft disc because there are some soft discs that are just like way too floppy in the hand. So if you're not one to really like soft putters, I would definitely check this out though because like I said, that over mold um, is, is a bit firm and still keeps the rigidity of that while having some soft plastic here. So the grip on this soft one definitely is I guess the highest tackiness um, and gumminess here, um, but you really can't go wrong with the hard or the soft or that nice in between. So anyways, let's get to uh, taking a look how these fly. So the first grouping of flights here, I'm gonna throw pretty much my natural flat, um, which is probably just as slightly as possible hyzer, not a Kevin Jones hyzer here, but just uh, something that feels flat and natural out of the hands for me. And we'll see how they fly. <laughs> So that was a pretty nice flight. Again, slight, slight hyzer, and that pretty much just held the line, pushed, pushed out with the slightest finish possible. And now we'll try the soft. And that was uh, a little bit uh, closer to the ground than the first one but that was a dead straight flight with really not even a finish, which is pretty awesome. So here we go with the uh, P2, pretty much the same exact release and power. A little nose up. 
and that may exhibit a little bit more stability because of the nose up on that. I'm not a robot. You can't execute every single shot perfectly, but okay. So this next grouping, I'm going to focus more on just getting that very flat uh, release as possible and see how these flights are. We do have a slight right to left tail right now. And that is a nice flying disc. Let's give it another one with the soft pixel. That one uh, was slightly hyzered out of my hand, but still a really good flight where it's pretty much holding that line. And then here's the P2. little closer to the ground, but pretty nice straight flight. All right, so this next grouping here, I'm gonna sort of put like a little pushing ante on it, just like a slight ante release out of the hand to see if this disc fights back, holds that line, flattens out. So let's take a look. And that pretty much held that line the entire time, which is awesome. So take a look at the soft, same one, little, uh, little up in the air with an ante. And that one, uh, it was uh, neutraling up or stabling up a tiny bit, uh, but pretty much still a nice neutral flight there. And then let's try it out here with the P2. I would say that those were pretty consistent out of all three of those shots and they all looked pretty similar. I did get over on the first pixel um, a little bit more than the other two, but the last P2 and the soft pixel uh, were pretty much almost identical on the lines here. So from the side profile or the rim profile here, here are the two pixels, and then this is the purple P2. And you can certainly see that the P2 is a bit bigger and a bit deeper of a putter. Even uh, if you were gonna go from a profile like this, Never mind, you can't really see it, but the, uh, the P2 definitely appears to be a bit, uh, slightly bit bigger putter than what the Pixel is. Um, but let's get a couple more flights here. I've really been liking the way it's flying. It is a pretty neutral uh, putter. Would I agree? Uh, two, four, zero, zero point five. I don't hate MVP. Um, I'm not gonna be like, oh, 0 0.5, what's the difference between a 0 0.5 and a one? Um, but I would say that it's between a 2400.5 0 0 and a 2401 in terms of an accurate representation, but definitely a very neutral disc. Uh, it's gonna vary depending on your, your throwing. If you're a slightly anti thrower, when you may be trying to throw flat, uh, or sorry, did I just say anti? If you are a slightly hyzered thrower, instead of flat or vice versa. If you are slightly any instead of flat, um, it's, it's really gonna hold the line for you. Um, in terms of flipping up, let's give these putters a rip on a slight hyzer, very slight hyzer to see if they pop up to flat and ride. That popped up really nice, popped up to flat, road, 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 and then just had a very, very slight finish at the end. So that was very nice. Give the uh, soft one a nice rip. That one I hyzered out a little more than the first one. And then here's the P2.
And then that had a similar flight and the first Pixel and the P2 are pretty much within like three to four feet of each other. Let's just finish up the flights here with just a couple uh, slight hyzers. And that just pretty much holds the line that you, you put it on. If you're not really like juicing it and ripping it, it's not flipping up. It's just staying on that exact angle of release and uh, just pushing through. The glide on these already, I can see. Um, we'll, we'll definitely take a look at that more uh, in the next video uh, when we get on a cool little nine hole ace place. Uh, but I can already tell the glide on these are pretty awesome. Um, I'm not even putting like too, too, too much effort into them. And they are going a bit farther than any other putters that I normally putt with. So that's pretty awesome. Do another little hyzer here. Very, very, very neutral. Awesome, and that's right there too. It literally landed almost in the same exact line as that other one. And then we'll finish it off here with the P2. Let's just take a, take a look up there where things went. They are pretty much relatively in the same line. Rode that hyzer line very nicely. And some may be a few feet before and a few after, but relatively, they all looked like they were right in that same line, which is awesome because it's a nice, controllable, reliable flight. Yeah, they're all, they're right in the same exact line, pretty much. P2, I didn't get out as far, but look at them. We got the P2 there. Right up here, we have the firm pixel. And then right up almost in the same exact line, we have the soft. Pretty awesome. So I can genuinely say I am really impressed with these new Pixels. They are a very beautiful neutral flying disc. I'm really excited to see how these beat, beat in, consider they are the electron based plastic. I'm sure taking them on like a uh, very heavily wood course and throwing them around for a little bit, these would beat into some laser beams, if not some really nice hyzer flip and dead straight pushers. So really awesome discs. It's, I think it's sweet that you can get these in three different plastics. Again, I do wanna emphasize if you are not into soft type discs, definitely give this a try and check out the soft one because the rigidity of that over mold really keeps the firmness on here, but it still be a nice flexible soft disc at the same time. So if you are interested in picking up one of these pixels, definitely head over to deliciousdiscs.com where you can get so many different colors in all of the blends, the soft, medium, and the firm. You can use my code no hassle disc 10 to get 10% off and really enjoy these. They come out to be like 10 or $11 for these stock stamp ones to have a really amazing neutral putter, uh, whether you wanna try it or you already know for a fact by the flight characteristics here that you're gonna immediately bag one of these. But definitely let me know down in the comments section what you guys think of these new discs. So the next video, we will be testing out these pixels on a cool little nine hole ace place where it ranges from like 150 to 225 feet. Um, we'll be throwing these on all sorts of lines to really uh, push them past the test of what we did today. Uh, but definitely check that out. And we also will be giving away one of these discs to one of you guys as well. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.